Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. iPad 2 is here. And of course, iPad first generation has been around for quite some time. I've had both and uh, have been playing with, uh, well, at least iPad 2 pretty much nonstop for the past uh, 24 hours. And it shows because I haven't really uh, had time to shave. Either way, we're going to do some raw speed tests uh, comparing the iPad 2 uh, to the first generation iPad. And now you might be inclined to try a speed test within the web browser. And honestly, even in uh, some of my uh, you know, basic speed tests, yes, it, the iPad 2 certainly was faster than iPad 1, specifically with the cold starting an app, but not really that much different. I mean, I, I, I didn't feel like I was moving that much faster. Yes, faster, certainly. There's nothing to be uh, said negative about a faster uh, particular uh, system. Uh, however, that being said, uh, I f thought it would be uh, far more interesting uh, to compare uh, another application which is more graphically intensive. I'm going to have to tweak a couple settings in, in that particular app. Uh, now, ignore the fact that this screen seems brighter on uh, the first generation iPad compared to the two. Uh, I've got a different screen protector. Uh, it's also sitting at a different angle. Uh, so this is not about uh, comparing uh, at least uh, saturation, brightness, etc. Although I can tell you side by side they pretty much are, are, are the same, at least visually. So let's go ahead and dive into Gravelux. And I'm going to tweak a couple uh, of settings first. We'll see uh, that iPad 2 should launch the application a bit quicker. It's ready to go here. And uh, about a split second later, it's ready to go over here. You can't see the dots right now, but I'm going to go ahead and double tap. I'm going to increase the dot size. So now you should be able to see those a little easier. I'll try to do it on this side too. Okay, so now we should see dots on both screens. Uh, again, there's a matte screen protector on the first generation iPad, no screen protector on the, the new gen. So we beefed up uh, the uh, uh, size of each one of these dots. I'm going to go ahead and just tap in slightly different areas to show you. We've got some motion. Both are seemingly fluid. Although I can tell you, and as you can see, the uh, dots on iPad 2 are moving just a bit faster. And to better illustrate that, and this of course would likely speak to not just the uh, boost in CPU speed, but also uh, better graphics. I'm going to go ahead and increase the number of dots. We're going to go from 6,400 dots originally to uh, 14,400 dots on each screen. So now we've reset the grid. And get rid of that menu there. And here we go. Again, we're going to tap and hold roughly in the same place. You should see the dots moving a bit faster on iPad 2. There you go. Seeing uh, virtually the same amount of speed on each side. But if you can tell, iPad 2 is edging it out. Barely. There, it's a bit more dramatic. The difference, at least. Oh, gotta be careful. It's one thing about uh, the uh, um, the nice little smart cover that. Uh, see, this is the reason why I had it at a different angle. The, the light reflecting off the top um, is that you can't really apply pressure to uh, the iPad screen uh, with the smart cover attached. So I apologize that fell over, but it gives me a chance to uh, uh, at least tell you that uh, that's one thing that's a bit disappointing about the smart cover, as opposed to you know any other kind of stand that you might be able to pick up. Uh, this is the uh, Cyber Acoustics, one of my favorite iPad uh, first generation cases. Still is the case. So, haha, -ha, still is the case. Get it? <laughs> okay, I thought it was funny. Either way, uh, you know, side by side, uh, they seem to be the same piece of hardware. Uh, yes, iPad 2 is certainly faster than the first generation iPad, and if you're looking for a speed boost, that would certainly, uh, you know, serve you well. Uh, other uh, people have uh, posted uh, benchmarks illustrating, you know, at least raw numbers. And I think, I mean, in, I mean, in terms of the speed differences between uh, the two pieces of hardware, and in usability, like navigating uh, the uh, home screens, uh, there's not that much difference. I mean, the animation is pretty fluid. The iPad first generation is no slouch. Um, you know, it's fast, or I should say fast enough. Uh, I think applications, when they are uh, more optimized for iPad 2's hardware, uh, you, we, we may see more dramatic differences between the two in terms of graphic quality. 
uh, and, and certainly uh, app developers will be releasing or should be releasing updates uh, to uh, their iPad software to better take advantage of the hardware now available in iPad too. But, uh, you know, bottom line, yes, it is a bit faster. Is it dramatically faster? I think it's all about optimization. It, it's just a skosh faster. I don't know if that's a technical term, really. Just, just a bit. Just a tiny bit. Either way, uh, it's certainly worth the upgrade, I, I would say. Uh, I, I like having a faster machine. Uh, this one, it will be, uh, I guess, sold at some point in the near future, since I really don't need two iPads hanging around. I'll be sticking with the faster one. It's, it's nice to have a, a fast uh, gadget in front of you. Either way, uh, my speed test showed a difference, just not that dramatic. Maybe your experience has been different, uh, but if you, uh, you know, thought that you were just going to get something that was just so much faster, I think you might be just a bit disappointed. There, I, I'm trying to eliminate the reality distortion field that uh, seems to surround just about every uh, particular product that gets launched out there. My email address, chris at perillo.com, if you uh, know of another, or I guess a better application to compare uh, side by side, specifically one uh, that can show uh, graphics processing power. And I thought, uh, you know, illustrating it with the uh, insane amount of dots would have been the, uh, the best uh, way to go. Uh, let me know, uh, at Chris Perillo on Twitter, facebook.com slash Chris Perillo. And then, of course, we also have a chat room. Uh, they were watching me and likely uh, adding their own little colorful commentary in the background uh, as I was doing this, because the live video feed is coming out of another camera that's, you know, just behind the camera that's recording this particular video. <clears throat> You're more than welcome to join us. We are geeking out 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And let's see how fast we can launch this here. See if we'll pull it in. On the iPad, it's at pocket.perillo.com. And you can hear me now in stereo. Let's see if I can turn it up again. Woo! Oh, it's going to delay. At live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.